so a very good day to all let us uh, continue the journey of mastering the visual studio code okay so as you already seen in our previous uh, classes or previous sessions or previous videos we have seen how to install the salesforce cli we have seen how to install the visual studio code we have seen how to install the salesforce extension pack we have also seen how to connect your visual studio code to your salesforce org so what is the proof that you are so visual studio code loaded with all the plugins and ready for doing some action so in salesforce if you want to know that so one thing you need to remember here is so this one here so what is it saying org browser if you see that that means you are already got connected to your salesforce org and at the bottom you can see the alias name that you have given for your default organization where all the operations that you do here are reflected there so if you want i can simply click on this open org and it is going to open in my browser the salesforce organization without any login credentials see that everybody right so this is how we can open our salesforce organization right right now the question is what can we do with the help of this visual studio code if you carefully observe in the package structure given by the salesforce uh, the visual studio code here you can see there is something called scripts here where we have something called an apex file and there is something called as an soql file right so when you click on your apex file you can see some of the comments that are given here and some uh, text that has been given by them some code that has been given by them and at the top you can see execute and debug options available okay so in order to see any kind of action you know that we need to open our developer console let me open the developer console and i am going to open it in a new tab of the same window for that i am opening the copying the url of the developer console and open it in a new tab where i have already logged in into my salesforce organization now you can see there are no logs right now now you can see that i can execute any type of apex code in here just like how you execute your code in the anonymous window see the difference guys i am going to execute something here system dot debug of hello world and i will select the open log and you can see click on execute or let me leave it open log as it is and click on execute what happened a log was generously generated for us now you double click on this log to see that the debug hello world has been printed as it is now i would like to do the same option from your visual studio code you just say system dot debug can you see that so we have intelligent suggestions coming here which will help us to write the code more efficiently without worrying too much about the minimal details that you need to concentrate on okay then i will say hello world here also and put a semicolon we should not forget that then if i click on this execute button right now it is going to execute everything available in my file currently so but if you want to execute only this line to be executed then select the line that you want to execute and click on the execute button see another log has been created but you can see that the log output is also available in the visual studio code console here see compiled it successfully executed successfully and you should see somewhere hello world here right the same log what you are able to see here the same log will be available here but you can see the difference between the operation so the window that it got the previous log was got executed is from anonymous window this is the anonymous window that is why we got this saying as services slash data slash version tooling execute anonymous but uh, whereas i try to execute the system dot debug of hello world from your visual studio code which is connected to your salesforce org via an api so that is why you are able to see the operation as api 
now double click on this and there you go you can see the same output you can see the same one can you see that the only time changes you can see but the output is exactly the same both ways so it is not like you have to do only through developer console you can execute your apex code from your <coughs> visual studio code as well of course it's not like we have only this option to execute you can also do like this select the code that you want to execute and uh, go to your command palette how will you go to command palette guys so we have an option here view command palette click on it and there is an option called execute anonymous apex with currently selected text because i clicked on this because i clicked on this previously that has come recently i can also use my shortcut key control shift p to go to the command palette and i can say sfdx colon execute anonymous apex with editor contents click on it i think i executed more than what needed so debug only oh yeah the above thing is also uh, entered so let me select this control shift p and execute anonymous apex if you don't select the code so it is going to execute everything available in that particular file right now as you can see the same output yes i guess this is how we can execute the this is how we can execute the commands or your apex code right so there is also one more file given to us called as account.soql which is having some code already available i will select it but unfortunately unlike your apex file your soql file is not going to have any commands available here to execute so rather than you can say control shift p and before going that guys let me do one thing let me clear the console here clear output okay so let me select this control shift p sfdx colon execute soql with currently selected text that is soql query with currently selected text when i execute that it is asking us to execute it with the help of a rest api or tooling api let us go with the rest api it is executing my soql query and you can see something change occur and you can see there is no log generated because when you want to execute some queries you usually get a query grid right see if i do the same thing in my developer console how can i execute it i will go to the query editor and enter the this one and then i say execute and you can see we got some 13 rows here and you can see the same kind of output in your querying data see can you see that yes select so the query that we have executed is so and so and it got our id and it got our name as well and you can see all the information total number of records retrieved is 13 total number of records retrieved is 13 so this is how we can also quickly execute your soql commands or soql queries so that you can see the output very quickly in the need of the development data right everybody so i hope this video was informative for you so which will be helpful for you in the future right thank you have a good day everyone